I'm Joanne Banco from Let's Go Sew. I got a quick tip for you today to show you how to do quick quilting with your serger. So it's great for lots of different projects. What I've done is I've cut some strips of batting and some strips of, of fabric. You can cut one, two, three, you know, different colors, but you want to have the same um, color for the back side for all of your strips, or those can get a little bit tricky there. And you want all of your strips cut exactly the same size. You use a very thin batting, that's, that's important, and then layer it up. So I will have in the instructions exactly what pieces to layer so you'll be able to you know, do that accurately. But I've got my first sections already laid up. I've got quite a bit of thickness here, and that's because I am quilting as I'm serging. So I've got my serger set up for a four thread balanced stitch, and I've got my width set um, wide and my stitch length set long so that I'll be able to grab all of that fabric edge. I'm going to slip that right underneath the presser foot and I'm going to go ahead and serge all the way down. If you trim a little bit that's fine. You know we're not we're not doing piecework, patchwork that needs to be accurate. We're doing this for quickness so that we can have um, you know the strip quilting all done all at one time. And what that means is not only is our patchwork done but our batting is all layered inside and everything's all quilted together. So first layer comes out like this. That thread cut and then you could see when I open this up, okay, I've got my lining side. You'll see this and you'll understand the whole process in a minute. Okay, so take a look at that. I've got my two strips on the top side, all nice and seamed. My batting all sandwiched in between, and then on the back side, I've got my two lining pieces. So we're ready to do the next one, and I've got this all set here. So I'm going to take my lining piece, and I'm going to go lining to lining right side. This could be something where if you're, you know, I'm doing this really quick here, you might need to shave that off a little bit. You could press it, make it really nice and neat, but I'm going to put right sides together of my lining, and then I'm going to put right sides together of my next strip and I'm going to lay my batting piece on top. Get all those edges matching again. Run that through for my second strip. And this is ideal for um, placemats, pot holders, baby blankets. You know, all those small projects that you really just want a really quick quilting technique. And your serger can do the job for you really fast and really easy. Watch the magic with this. When I open that up, there's my beautiful top side. Open that up, there's my beautiful back side. So voila, very simple, very easy. When you're finished, just make a beautiful binding on the edge. You can use a bias binding, you can use matching fabric, and you've got a beautiful finish on both the right side and the wrong side. Your batting is sandwiched in between. Everything is all quilted together. It also makes a nice, strong, sturdy, beautiful, smooth look on the outside. So be sure to visit the website. We've got free instructions. We'll give you all the step-by-step -step so you can make your own beautiful strip quilted serger piecing.